In this video, we are looking into one of the questions appeared in JWBR and NATA that is using three cuboids, one cube and three pyramids, draw a 3D composition and show the effect of light and shadow. So like you can see, I started with the center drawing the cuboid, always necessary that you start at one third from the bottom of the page. So in this way, you will have control on your composition and it will be right at the center. Have your figures that is the positive at 75% in the overall page and your background as 25% that is the negatives that is how you can stable the overall composition. Use your solids in different unique angles to make it interesting. Also like I'm showing with the pencil, make sure you do not draw the overall composition in one single line. Get your background and the solids merged beautifully just like a family picture where you know a grandfather is sitting and there is a small little kid in mom's hand or a father standing tall or a little girl standing at the bottom. It shouldn't be like a school height wise composition there you are following the order of height or weight or you know size. You're you shouldn't follow order rather you should try to hold the attention of the viewer by having a focal point where the overall attention is held uh, with this you the shade and shadow plays a very important role like it is shown you start with having your sun rays the uh, diagonal lines at what angle your source of light is with that you start you always start with the shadows once you place the shadows because obviously in your exam you will have least amount of time so the first effect that gives the overall composition is the shadow start with it and then move on to shading it should be as minimal as possible do not make it really dark uh, because it smudges all over the papers and uh, at the end it really gives a shabby effect to learn how to do the shade and shadow you can go to the short section there there are plenty of videos where i'm showing different shades of different solids uh, also i'm going to be doing many more videos showing shading and shadow of every solid make sure you do that in detail because the overall effect of the composition is only with shading solids with different angles will have different shadows on each other with uh, the surface shading so uh, follow whatever is shown after that start with the shading go in a very light hand first do not directly get into the darker tones one light shading and you will uh, it will take you through a very good image like you can see in the drawing another important point here is do not border your solids only the line which is touching the surface below will be dark and nothing else all the other lines of your solids will be very similar to the shade like you can see in the image only the bottom one where the solid is touching the lower surface and where the shadow is forming that is where you have the darkest line and everything else is very much similar to the shading that is how you get the realistic effect practice this as it is important for both JWE and nata you can send me a dm here with your queries and an image of your composition and i'll help you let me know in the comments if you want more such videos bye for now